the spider on its one little strand swings right into me. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because we finally hit 4,000 subscribers. I'm super excited about it and I told myself that if I hit a thousand subscribers I was gonna buy a new camera and like make everything better. Right now I have the Sony A5100 I think and I ended up getting the Canon EOS 80D which will be here later this week. I'm not really sure what day but I'm super excited. Thank you guys. I can't believe that I went from 1,000 like struggling to get a thousand followers and then now I have 4,000 in just a couple weeks so I'm really excited and thank you guys and because of that I figured I would take you guys on a journey today of my day so I have a few errands that I have to run and I have to go to podiatry that's a really good story <laughs> I'm going to get laser hair removal and then I might go to Joanne Fabrics I'm not really sure it kind of depends how the date goes but little backstory on my podiatry appointment so I won't be able to bring the camera in there because my doctor is old school and probably not a lot of film I'm not even gonna ask him but backstory is longest story short ever I had somebody draw sharpie on my nail when I was like maybe 20 years old and I couldn't get it off the nail ended up dying which is really gross it fell off and another nail grew under so if you guys know if you lose a toenail it never grows back the same and basically because it kept growing back weird it kept dying and falling off again I've had it ripped off it's the same toenail it was really frustrating I've lost it maybe four times <laughs> I ended up getting toenail fungus under it super common super gross but it is what it is and I could not get rid of it finally I figured out how to do it and I ended up getting laser on my toenail which does remove it don't even waste your time unless you have like the teeniest bit of toenail fungus don't even waste your time using all of like the products and things that you find and remedies and all that it doesn't work unless you have like the teeniest tiniest but I had the whole toenail and I ended up paying for four sessions of laser and it worked so my toenails are looking normal again but I still have to go so that it doesn't spread to any of the other toenails it's kind of just keeping up maintenance I think I have two more of those appointments so that's my podiatry story and then I will be going to laser by Nicole hair removal to get my I guess monthly well every five weeks um, adjustment, you know, trying to be hair free. Gotta keep everything smooth and clean. And then I may go to Joanne Fabrics. I'm not sure yet. There's some little projects and things I wanna do. I'm also gonna make my Halloween costume, which I'm gonna film for you guys, which is pretty cool. And I need some E6000 glue, so I do have to at some point get that. However, the base for what I'm going to make for my costume hasn't come in yet, so I don't necessarily need it today. And before we head off on this journey, I figured I would give you a little outfit of the day. I am wearing cutoff jean shorts and my Making Magic Happen shirt because my intention is to make magic happen today by getting everything that I want done. And then my Kate Spade bag. So cute. <laughs> Just kidding. Very cash. We are officially off to the podiatry office. Super hot day in South Florida. I can't wait until it's cold. And it's probably gonna rain. Story of our lives in Florida. All right, so I always manage to miss this turn, but today, for the first time ever, I didn't miss it, so I don't have to make a giant U-turn. Ah, I'm gonna park here. All right, I guess we are gonna do this thing. This is in my doctor's office's yard. It's so cute. Alright, so I just left the doctor's office and I am headed to my laser hair removal appointment. Lots of traffic, but I have an hour to get there. I'm gonna be so early. Hopefully she just will be like, yeah, we'll take you even though you're an hour early. So I wanted to tell you guys this really funny story. So three years ago, it was the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, I'll never forget it, and I drove a Subaru BRZ, and I was at, I think, Ale House, and I parked my car like half in a bush because there was literally no parking anywhere in this whole place. Like, it was completely sold out for that fight. So I made my own spot, and it worked. However, <laughs> when I went to get in my car, a spider had gotten on me like one of those grass spiders and it crawled like across me as soon as I sat in the car and I like flung it and I didn't know it was a spider I thought it was like a beetle or something I just felt like the ugh, like 
crittery crawly and I like flung it somewhere in my car and then that was it didn't think anything of it then over like the course of the next couple days I had seen like webs in my car like little like strands like here and there and I didn't still even really think anything of it because I'm the type of person that if I can't see it, it doesn't exist, like out of sight, out of mind, right? So I'm driving one night and freaking spider runs across the dash and I'm like deathly afraid of spiders. Deathly. I stop the car and I get out and I'm screaming and I'm literally in the middle of the road, like lights on the car, I'm sitting outside, like people are stopping and asking if I'm okay. It's like maybe like 10 o'clock at night and I'm just, <laughs> I'm like, no, there's a spider in my car and like they're kind of laughing, whatever. So after a few minutes, I can't find the spider. So I get back in the car and I drive home with the lights of my car on the entire ride home. The next day I put aluminum foil all over my seats cause I had um, suede leather seats. I didn't want them to get ruined. And I lit off three fog bombs in my car. Okay, I completely smoked out my car trying to kill this spider. I went away for two weeks to Montreal to visit like a boyfriend I was dating at the time. So I left my car like completely spider free. And when I came home, there was webs in my car still. Fast forward, I just started to live with it. I was like, if I can't see it, it's not there, whatever. They probably only come out at night. I don't know. I'm going to a hip hop class with my best friend and the spider crawls out from the rear view mirror and ends up in front of me on the, the windshield. So my best friend sees it and she goes, there's a spider, I'm gonna kill it. We're in the Walgreens parking lot, okay? It didn't really dawn on us at the time that maybe we should have waited until I was in park for her to try to hit the spider. We were just trying to kill it. You know, you see it, kill it. So she reaches over and swings at the windshield with her phone, misses the spider. The spider on its one little strand swings right into me. Okay, literally like right into me, swings right into me. I start freaking screaming, screaming. I hopped out of that car so fast, I tried to put the car in park, and because it's a low sports car, I tried to hit the car in park, and instead I hit it in reverse, but I still got out because I was panicking so freaking hard that when I got out of the car, the door, because it was going to reverse, the door tripped me up, and I ended up getting dragged like 10, 15 feet until it hit the car behind me. Luckily, there was no damage because it was literally like, no miles per hour, it's very slow. You know how the car is in reverse if you don't put any gas on it. My best friend's like trying to reach in the car and turn off the, the car. I am like just getting dragged and like throughout the whole thing I'm laughing because my adrenaline was going so hard that I just didn't feel any of the pain. Fast forward, I ended up getting really hurt. I had an infected leg. I have, till this day, I have scars on my knee from getting dragged, but I ended up trading in my car the next day and I got a brand new car. I switched to the Acura ILX because I just knew that I could not get back in that car because I would do the exact same thing again. I would try to get out of the car. Fast forward, three years till now. I am getting in my car at like 10 o'clock. This was maybe like a month and a half ago. Getting in my car and it's dark. Driving through the neighborhood, you know, no big deal. I see in the shadows of the dark, something like this dangling from my rear view mirror. And I realize it's a spider. So I immediately, I, I held it together this time. I stopped, I pulled to the side of the road, I actually pulled down a street, like I, I waited a couple minutes, let the spiders dangle, pulled to the side of a street, parked, got out, turned on the lights, and panicked as usual. Turned out it was three spiders coming down from my rear view mirror. There was one on the floor, there was some coming out from under my car, so I am freaking panicking. I am just like the spider queen. I don't know how all of these spiders just cling to me, but they do. Don't know why. Moving forward, I now have swatters in my car, his and hers, in case somebody wants to brave the night with me and get in the car. They can have a swatter of their very own. And I have spider away bags, which I've recently just taken off. They used to be on my dash because that's where I've seen the spiders. I saw them two more times since that night. Um, one time they were outside of my car on the windshield and the second time they were literally right by the vents in front of the car. Then I had someone back into me in, in a parking lot and I had to bring my car in for repairs and I read somewhere that when you bring your car in for paint, they put it in a room that dries the paint and for whatever reason that room heats up really hot and it apparently has killed spiders for other people in their cars because guess what? Spiders in your car is apparently a very common thing. Didn't know that. And since I've had my car back, I haven't seen any webs on the outside of my car or on the inside of the car. I haven't seen any spiders. However, I still do drive sometimes in the dark with a swatter on my lap just in case. So yeah, that's my story with the spiders. I still do panic. I haven't seen any. I'm hoping they're gone. I know that in like November, December, they will be gone because they don't like the cold weather. Uh, they'll go back into the tree. I don't know how they got in my car. I don't know why they're in my car, but they're in my car. 
sorry, that was train track. So change of plans. I stopped at Jamba Juice because I am almost 40 minutes, actually I was gonna say 30, but I'm almost 40 minutes early for this appointment. So I decided to stop at Jamba Juice and get a smoothie. So I've made it to the parking lot of Laser by Nicole, but I am 30 minutes early still. This literally took 10 minutes to get. I think I'm just gonna walk in there early and sit down. Maybe she'll take me early. No, this video is not sponsored by Jamba Juice. This is the beautiful place. Hi. I'm so early, I know, and I'm filming, just so you know. Awesome. Super, super early. Yeah, sure. Really? Sweet, that worked out. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> All right, so we're all done with that, and we are going to head to Joanne Fabrics. I need some E6000 glue, so I'm gonna pick that up, and then I want a little bit of autumn decor. So we're gonna head over to Joanne Fabrics. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> About to pull in the parking lot for Joanne Fabrics, and I just remembered that Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza is in this parking lot, and they have my favorite salad ever, so I am going to call them and place an order for pickup because they have curbside, so I'm gonna have to get out of the car. Can you see this? Uh, yes, you can. So I have a uh, warning labels that are glued to my like uh, visors, and I'm gonna E6000 them because from the heat in South Florida and the humidity, the glue's coming off half of it, but if you pull it off, it leaves glue residue. It's really weird, like the glue has to like melt itself off. So instead, I'm just going to reattach them to my visor with my trusty E6000 glue that never fails. You can literally put your life back together with it. Hi, can I place an order for pickup? Awesome, thank you. They're so nice at Anthony's. All right, Joanne Fabrics, here we come. I got a lot of decor because I couldn't decide and everything was on sale. How cute is this pumpkin? And then I got a polka dotted one, a plushy one, and then just a regular. I couldn't decide which two I wanted, so I bought all four. Yay, Anthony's curbside takeout come through. Hi. Hi. Are you picking up for Brittany? Yes. It's a small salad, the egg and olive on the side, and the gorgonzola. Um, it was extra egg and olive. All the toppings are fine. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Have a good one. You too. She was super nice, but she definitely saw my dash cam. She either A, thought I was probably like a secret shopper and I was spying on them, or she probably figured, oh, she does YouTube. But she was really nice. I mean, I don't know if that's because she saw my camera or if that's just who she is as a person. But I like to think that it was because that's who she is as a person. Oh my God, she has a death wish. Walked right out in the middle of traffic. I definitely need to get used to talking to myself all day and having other people watch me talk to myself. I'm gonna have to get used to that if I'm gonna do vlogs. And I gotta get used to having a dash cam in my car, which is also interesting because I love to see other people looking at my windshield. Like I, there was a, a younger guy that drove by on a motorcycle and he slowed down to look back at my windshield and just kind of like looked like, people are probably like, what is she doing? Anyways, if you guys like this video, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I'm super, super excited about 4,000 subscribers. I honestly was pushing for 1,000 and you know, in two and a half weeks, you guys gave me 4,000. I can't even believe it. I'm so excited to see where YouTube's gonna take me and you know, things I wanna do in the future. And I'm so grateful. So thank you guys for following and watching and yeah. If you guys don't already subscribe, feel free to click the link below and leave any questions, comments, concerns underneath this video. It's been real, it's been fun, but you thought I was gonna say it hasn't been real fun. It's been a lot of fun. Until next time, have a good one guys.